Hi, this is Shadi. So, Joshiro Maruyama, a two-time world champion, had a very beautiful Uchimata and Tomoenage. A very small arsenal, yet he was able to do magic with it. Sure, you see a technique here and there, but it was mostly these two techniques. And recently, during a sparring session, he showed something very beautiful. At the same time, very, very f uh, fundamental yet it was i would say revolutionary so sometimes with the most basic basic things you can do just a very surprising thing so uh, basic doesn't mean banal this is very key so first let's start with this uh, uchimata it's not really the uchimata that caught my eye but rather the entry so he was fighting this left-handed athlete and look at how he enters with these little steps and yet he shoots uh, an uchimata it's very difficult to to catch it if you are doing these little uh, tsugiashi in a sense and uh, he enters diagonally hopping almost and then catches the leg so this is very reminiscent of the 2021 world title it looks unreal almost if you look at it slowly so uh, he catches the sleeve which is the dominant hand of uh, Safarov and he cannot catch the lapel when you're in the same stance it's kind of hard to do that so he does a one and a two look at how he slides it's it's almost unreal and uh, he didn't pull enough on the sleeve so he didn't get a full score but it was enough since uh, it was golden score and uh, he went on to the final so i would say the movement of his leg is rather uh basic so as much as it looks very strange it's just a simple uh, what do you call a tsugiashi and it is very much like this movement here and it what makes it so interesting is the diagonal angle that he took so he didn't uh, enter straight into his opponent like a t form but rather he entered diagonally targeting the leg that he wanted to reap and then from there he rotates his body and lifts his leg up so let's take a look at it again so here you see it's a uh, the first one being here so he's preparing it makes sure he's on the ball of his feet one two and then rotates the way he slides to the side it's it's unreal i don't know how that happened so let's take a look at it in the recent sparring session it's far more pronounced so here one two and then rotates to the side and gets it so it's a very weird way to enter uchimata it's like a two tsugiashi and then lifts the leg so here Ochigari and then a one step Uchimata. I wish he did this way more uh, when he competed. I don't know if he's still gonna go for a third title because Abe is going to the Olympics. I hope he does. So, this is classic uh, Kosei Inoue. So, Ochigari and then one step Uchimata. That's how he won the Sydney Olympics. So, here you see he he's bumps with it. So, he they, so they go back and then launches his foot um which by the way this variation is difficult to do yet there's far more power behind it so what you do is you jump with the supporting uh, foot as it is rotating and then the reaping foot or the sweeping foot of the thigh it's it's jumping behind the supporting foot creating all this inertia which makes it launch far more powerfully when once it is there so this variation is far more powerful but far more difficult to to do and you aim for the far leg because in competition when you aim far you're most likely to aim uh, you to arrive a little bit less so it's going to end up in the middle so let's take a look at this foot sweep that he uh, manages to do so the the secret to his kosoto is really in the supporting foot and how he hops on it so now that he's back and away from the danger uh, he hops the supporting foot chasing a kosotogari and then as they retreat more look he hops the supporting foot and as they are retreating 
he sweeps both feet notice how his foot ends up to the side so not kicking it away like a harai tsurikomi ashi it's rather an okuri ashi harai so basic kosotogari and from it you sweep both legs so this is mochida explaining it with the kodokan production really nice series by the way so as the second foot is retreating that's where you sweep both feet and you lift up with the sleeve and the lapel pushing the sleeve to the side and you lift your opponent and so here you see as the foot is retreating that's when you do it so let's see it one more time so he he is far away he chases that kosotogari and as he is retreating sweeps both legs and uh, collects them and gets a massive uh, ipon it's uh it's really those basic things that really makes everything you do wonderful whether it is painting a music grappling of course architecture you know when i was in architecture school um, a lot of the times i wanted to do something very minimalist sometimes i would do these projects now depending which year i was so i would try to do these projects which has maybe two or three walls and uh, enough to divide the space and create this aesthetics and when i was a beginner so the second third year i would often fall into banality while trying to attempt something simple and genius and later as i got more advanced obviously it uh it became really good so my my master's project at the end was just a one room project and it got me through to become an architect that was my goal from the beginning and i got to do it at the end so doing something simple is the most difficult thing you can do in the whole world so if you're a painter maybe you're trying to do a one color painting or uh whatever it is if you're a if you're a musician a one scale only trying to do the impossible so um this is what i like about basic judo when people think basic they think it's just white belt judo no it's the basics really done in a beautiful way where you're just creating something just absolutely masterful and that's the hard part of doing something it's not the fancy stuff that you see so if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon and also maybe consider becoming a member and i wish you all happy holidays and hopefully the next year will be good for your grappling and everything else in life this was Shady, and thank you for listening.